All right, what's up guys? It's Sarcastic Dragon here. Now, part of this video is because I, I, I genuinely want to, I don't know, maybe teach people a little bit. And, and then part of it is also just because I never get to use my dragon face cam anymore. Because it's a fun gimmick and I, I do VR games a lot now, so I can't, I can't really use it. But anyways, so, um, I don't know, there's, uh, I've been kind of getting a lot of, uh, questions via, uh, Discord and a little bit in the YouTube comments and stuff like that on why exactly uh, the Force Choke mod is how it is and why it's not exactly perfect by any means. And it's down to how spells work in Skyrim. So I'm going to show you a little bit how that works. If this isn't your cup of tea, then bye. But uh, I mean, I don't know, you might learn something and well, you probably will. You almost certainly will, unless you know this already, in which case you're just going to laugh at my inexperience. But, anyways. So, uh, why can't I just add, like, a drain life spell to the telekinesis spell? Again, it's down to how magic works in Skyrim. Now, these are all the magic effects in the game. There's quite a few. Where did I put mine? Mine are... Okay, so, the this is what... I don't use that. I don't think. No, I don't think I'm using that for anything. So this is the cloak spell that you see in the um, levitate in the uh, the levitate choke spell. And the reason I have to use fire cloak is because, for example, there are a, di a bunch of different types of spells in Skyrim. There's different categories. So let's just find flames. Uh... Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, all right. So, here is an example, once it loads. It's down there, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, so here you go. This is Intense Flames Fear. Not entirely sure what that is. So, first off, you've got a ton of different uh, effect arch archetypes, whatever. Um, so, this is Demoralized. So, this is like Fear or something like that. Now, for the telekinesis that we'd want to use, it's Grab Actor, but... The, this isn't really the limitation here. The limitation are these two things. So there's con there's three types of casting. There's concentration, constant effect, and fire and forget. Now, if I'm being honest, I've never used constant effect or really investigated what it does, so I'm not entirely sure what that even does. But um, concentration is like your standard flames spell where you have to hold down the button and fire continuously comes out of your hand. Then fire and forget is, for example, like fireball where you charge something up, fire, you're done. Um, and then, uh, there's these different categories. Uh, the ones we're going to be focusing on is self and aimed. There's also contact, target actor, and target location, but they're not really relevant to this. So aimed and self. So self is like the basic healing spell where you cast it and the magic effect goes onto yourself. You heal yourself with it. Aimed is again, like the fire thing where you aim and shoot fire, um, at someone continuously. So if you have concentration and aimed then that would be like the fire spell if you have fire and forget and aimed that would be like um the fireball spell if you have fire and forget self then that would be something like oak flesh or uh one of the greater healing ones where you heal your, bleh, where you heal yourself in bulk that would be like that now the the issue that prevents you from doing something like what you would want with the force choke spell is a spell can't be both of these at once it can only be one or the other now you would think that because you're pulling another actor towards you or an npc and you'd think that telekinesis would be concentration and aimed but it's not it's concentration self it's a self um spell which i guess because you're pulling it towards you so it's essentially um or technically that's what i was looking for it's a self spell, so let me let me find that effect real quick. Tell, uh, um, this is the telekinesis that you see for the actual levitation effect, and then this is the regular telekinesis effect. Um, come on, there you go. Okay, so here we are. So as you can see, effect archetype, grab actor, concentration, self. So. Um, so yeah, so like I said, they can't be two things at once, so here's the issue. In order to apply damage to an NPC with, um, 
with telekinesis at the same time without having to use two different spells, like one for each hand, you need um, to find a spell that you cast on yourself that does damage to another NPC. That does not leave you a whole lot of options. Um, and yeah, literally cloak spells are the only options at that point. So that's why I have to use the cloak spell. And now here's the next problem. So the, the current issue with that is, um, first off, you can see the flames. And then second is it does very little damage. Now here's why that's the case. So let me uh, find a cloak. Fire cloak. Okay, so this is what we use in the levitate choke spell. Now the reason this doesn't work as well is this is probably just my inexperience here. But first off, the reason that I can't make it completely invisible is it be because if it doesn't have at least one of these, I'm not sure which, if it doesn't have at least one of these, then it will just not work. And then sometimes it will also crash your game. But it, at the very least, it will have no effect at all. So it has to have those. So that's one thing. Um, the second thing is how damage works for spells in Skyrim. So I'm going to pop back over to just the regular... Uh, now I'm going to go over to spells. Um, let's see. And then let's just do flames. That's not how you spell flames. Flames. Alright, here we are. Okay, this is your... I think this is the... Yeah, this is the basic flame spell. So, if you look right here, um, these are the effects. So, it... I guess it has a, in, a fear thing built into it. I guess that's for why they run away at some point when their health is low. I don't know. But, anyways. So, if you want to increase the damage that this spell does, that's where the magnitude comes in. So, magnitude, if you want, if you want this... Right now, it does 8 points of damage. The magnitude is 8. So if I wanted it to do 55 points of damage per second, then I would switch to mag the magnitude to 55. So you would think, okay, well, cool. So just um, make it so that the cloak does more damage. Well, cloak spells are one of the only spells that don't work like that. Cloak. Uh, let's see. Flame cloak. That works. Cloak spells are some are pretty much the only spells that I know of that don't work the same way. Because the magnitude doesn't increase the damage it does, it increases the range at which it does damage. So, yeah, I mean, so what I had to do is I had to change the cloak spell to a, because it's fire and forget, because you cast it once and then it's done. I had to change that to a concentration spell. The issue is, is you can't change telekinesis to, like, an aimed spell, because if you change telekinesis to an aimed spell... It still works, but it doesn't pull them towards you. It just it just works as like a force push. So like yeah, that so that you can't do that either. So that's my dilemma right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I guess I just wanted to show exactly how it all works because a lot of people might not know and stuff like that. And again, my understanding is also very basic. And so here's how it's, it, it can auto-calculate based on the power of the spell, how much it would cost. And then you can uh, unclick that, and then you can change how much time it takes for the spell to charge up, and then how much it would cost and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, there you go. That's how magic works in Skyrim, and that is why it is so damn difficult to effectively make a levitating force choke spell. Thank you very much, and good night.